guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I am here today with a coloring related video. As I said in my tour video, coloring is like my number one hobby right now. Um, it's been about a full year since I first saw a Jen Reading with Pugs coloring video, saw the book, Fairy Shampoo, knew I had to get it, and have been addicted ever since. So I figured since it's been a year and I have a lot of coloring I've done since then. I would break up how I show you all my stuff in I think a unique way by showing you all my Hannah Lynn today. So I'm going to show you all the books I have by Hannah Lynn and all the colored pages I've done in Hannah Lynn thus far. She, I think, has to be my favorite coloring book author. I have seven of her books currently. I know there's two full I don't have, and now Victorian Darlings is coming out soon. I can't wait to get that either. When I saw her books originally, I didn't expect to like them because I never really did characters or girls or anything like that. I had no idea how to do skin. I really don't even blend much, so I hadn't like I didn't know how to make her books look good. But ever since I got them, every page I do, I just love more and more. So, I have them in order of least pictures to most. This one, no pictures in it yet. I just recently got it. I dream in color. This one's pretty cool though. It's got pages. Every page has like a quote on it. So that's cool. And at the back, there's almost like a journal pages for you to do. So positive affirmations. There's blank pages to do some journaling in if you want to. So hopefully I'll get to that soon. I actually bought three of her books on Amazon Prime Day with a coupon for $5 off. So that's one of them. This is a second one, which I also haven't gotten to do anything from yet because I bought it the same day as that one. And this is Tattoo Darlings. I just really like this one because I like some of the themes in here. And obviously I understand that. Baking can't be a full book, but there's baking on this girl, so I thought that was pretty cool. Looking forward to that one too. And then the third one I bought that same day was this one, Maui Mermaids and Island Whimsy Girls. I have done one in here and I love it. This is one of my favorite Hannah Lynn pictures I've ever done. And there she is. When I flipped through this book, I was just drawn to this picture and I knew I had to do it first. And I think I did a pretty good job. Maybe let me know what you think. But I don't know what happened down here. I didn't really understand what this was. And now I think that there was some more hair and this is a different flower. And then I just put orange because I was like, maybe it's her shirt. So maybe it is her shirt. I don't know. But yeah, this is my first one done in here and I love it. Then there's Princesses. I was looking forward to this book for months. She kept teasing us for months with this book. And I could not wait to get it. And now that I have it, I've only done two pictures. These pictures are so detailed and so intense that they're a little bit intimidating. But what I do, I actually have one of my best friends in real life also has these coloring books. And we pick every month a few pictures to do and like buddy color. So that's been a lot of fun and it's been motivating to get them done. So this month it is this book and we will be doing two more pages from here. But the two I already did was this one, which is the three bears. I think it came out okay. Look at how much detail though, it's nuts. And this one isn't even that bad because the bears are all big, but these are, these are a lot in these books, so. Yes, that one. And then Tinkerbell. I also love this one. See what I'm saying? That every book by her, I just love it more and more every page. I think, can you see? There's sparkle all over. I don't know if you can tell. This was just a gold link of Stella. I, yeah, I don't know. I mostly just straight color. So in these books is where I do the most shading. So this is me being fancy. with all this oh, My line of light. Ooh, very fancy. So, um, because for me, I just like quantity over quality almost. So I spend maybe one to two hours per picture, no more than that. And then I move on to something else because I'm done. So there's Tinkerbell. Okay, then this one. This one 
my fiance got me for, I think, Christmas. Could have been my birthday. My birthday and Christmas are 50 days apart. So a lot of the times, like every year, I'll be really into something and I need it. And I get a whole bunch of it for my birthday and Christmas. So I think for this year, I asked all my friends for coloring books and I asked everybody to get me supplies. And between my birthday and Christmas, I probably got like 30 books between. So since then, I've calmed down a whole bunch. But here we go with this one. I think we have four in this one. I wasn't prepared and marked them off. So yeah, these I can flip and show you. This is her style. These are older ones by her. By Hannah Lynn. Here we go. And this book actually says it's 50 favorites. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, this book has pictures from her two books that I don't yet own. Which is why I'm not in a super rush to get them. They're definitely still on my wish list. But if it takes a little bit, obviously I have a lot to color while I wait. But yes, this one is like my rainbow bright girl. What I also love about Hannah's books is that she does so many creatures almost like mermaids and fairies and all that so it gives me a chance to experiment with different skin tones because I think I have my peach girls down pretty good but I'm trying to learn other skin tones and I get to do that in this book so one this is my work in progress that I can't figure out I don't know if I will ever finish this um, sometimes if I don't like where my colors are going, it just, I deflate and I don't know because I don't really understand where this dragon is. Like this is the body. Is this the body too? Like, is this dragon belly? What color do I make that? I don't know. She wraps around that way. And then I did this one. Our first, oh, I'm pushing stuff off the top of my desk that you can't see. This one, I actually asked a friend, I'm like, hey, what color should I make a dragon? And he suggested that, so that's what I went with. Orange. I think this is pretty cute. <clears throat> this one is another one of my favorites. And see, got to do some blue skin. I love the purple hair. This is actually my Instagram picture right now. If you follow me on Instagram, which is Danny Buttons Colors. So you should do that because then you'll see all these pictures without waiting for the videos. But I just love her a lot. I love it. Turtles are my favorite animal, sea turtles. So love, love, love. And then this one, we did this for 4th of July. Makes sense. And this is the first picture I actually did a marker base with. So I did her hair and tail with red marker and then went over it with Prismacolors. I don't have many different supplies and I like it that way because I think I would just be overwhelmed and feel guilty for not using what I had. So I have Prismas, I have um, Derwent Ink Tents, and I have Crayola markers. And that's basically it. I have a few odds and ends because I've been regular coloring for years and years but since adult coloring those are the things my big purchases so that's it from this book all right now we're getting to the good stuff and by good stuff i mean the books that i've had the longest and done the most in so this is the reason i started with hannah Lynn. i just like took a shot on this one i had obviously been coloring a few months when halloween was rolling around and i didn't have any halloween books so my friend and i ordered this one and went crazy. We did so many from here. There actually might be more in this one than the next one, but we'll see. Now, and you can also see, these are my first Tannelins, so some of them are not very good, but some of them I think came out okay. So, yes, vampire. I kind of tried to do a, like beige skin instead of peach. I don't know, here she is. I really liked what I did with this. With her books, in the beginning especially, I just went through blender pencils. I was blending like a crazy lady. Uh-oh, we might hear my puppy in the background. She's at the window. Yes, the witch. Uh, I love her green skin. I don't love her cauldron. Do you know, I don't remember the name of this right now, but there's a Prisma blue pencil that looks so dark and so navy. And every single time I use it, I forget and get disappointed when it's this light. 
So that's what happened with that. And then I tried to make it almost look dirty. Does it look dirty? I hope so. So there's that one. Ooh, I hit my tripod, I'm sorry. This is the first one we did. And I also do not like her. <laughs> this is another is, um, instance of colors led me wrong. I think her hair came out really cool, but I don't know. I think there's too many colors. There's, it's just strange. I do love the pumpkin though. So there's that. <laughs> And then back to another favorite. I think I just like purple hair girls because they always end up being my favorite. This was this is my favorite from this book, hands down. I love, love, love this one. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say because look at how pretty. Oh, I know what I could say. I use markers for the background, this blue, because I was starting to get fed up with how much blending I had to do. But yes, my purple hair girl. Oh. I was not prepared. I didn't sticker these. Oh, I love her too. Now, I love turtles, which I mentioned in the last book. I'm terrified of birds. I am not a bird fan at all. Do not like any birds. So, some coloring books have a lot of birds in them. But I guess he's not that bad. Ugh, I don't know why it's a bird. But, um, yes, this one... Each individual corn, I did so much blending and pushing that you can see the whole outline of them. I don't know if you'll be able to see with the camera, but here's the corn. Can you tell? So, I also love Hannah's books because there's two of each because then I feel less guilty if I think I messed up on one, but obviously it's all relative. You can't really mess up because you just do what you want. But I'm excited to go back this year or next year and do this page again and see if I did get better or not. But Trick or Treat Princess. Oh, I also love doing this because again, my best friend has this too. And we don't really talk about what colors we're going to do. Or sometimes I'll be like, oh yeah, my girl's blonde. So it's so much fun to see what she comes up with and how they're all different even if we both do blonde girls with pink dresses it will still look different and that's really cool so she actually did a brunette with a blue dress for this one but maybe next year we'll switch i hope i'm not skipping any like i said i wasn't really prepared with post-its for this but i figured there'd be post-its on every page so i didn't want to didn't want to. I don't know. Okay. This one. This is another one that is not my favorite. I don't know. I don't really like the this these colors together. So, I don't know. I really like this pumpkin too. And that's about it. Her pink hair is good if it wasn't on the rest of her, but I think that happens to me too that I love neon pink. But then it always looks so stark in every picture. Then I'm like, eh, eh, was that really a good choice? Oh, this is my pumpkin patch girl was one of my favorites too. I just think she came out really well. I don't know. <laughs> um, sometimes Hannah's books are on create space paper. So they get a little bit, the ink runs. So when I was blending, it gets a little bit dirty. But I don't think it's that bad, especially since in this book, they're all Halloween ladies. So a little bit dirty and spooky just can add to it. Okay, okay. As you can see, we still have more to do in this book for this year. Okay. Yes, this is my first attempt at natural darker skin. And I say natural because I obviously had blue ladies earlier. Uh, I think it came out pretty good. I don't really, this is when I only had 40 Prismas, so I couldn't really do too much shading. And again, I was just learning skin. I like, sometimes with her books, they're so detailed, I kind of cop out on the background. So I just outline the clouds with some blue, but that's it. Ugh, this is the biggest disappointment. <laughs> I love this girl and I did everything first and her skin last and her skin is like non-existent and then what the heck happened to her eyes? Oh my goodness. And of course, since I was blending, 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 
everything's burnished, so I can't really change anything. But, ugh, I love her. So just pretend she has no face. This is my first blonde girl I did, and I think it came out so good. I love the trees. I love everything except her face. So does that look better? Yeah. <laughs> oh, another blue mermaid. You can see the trend there. I like blue mermaids, I guess. Um, yeah, purple's my favorite color. Blue mermaids just make sense to me. Here she is. You can tell I kind of got lazy at the bottom and just started like coloring over everything instead of each individual one. But I tried to mix it up a little bit. I don't know. So funny to me that there's pumpkins underwater. But okie dokie. Oh, here's another. See, I kind of tried to shade, but I was shading with red. So I think she just looks very warm. <laughs> And then at this point, I was doing so many pumpkins that I mixed it up and did this green spooky pumpkin. So I actually really like how this came out. This is marker, um, red hair. I just think this one's pretty good. I don't know if I really need to talk about these as much as I am, because you can see what I've done. So hopefully this is actually the last one because this is the last page, so I don't think I missed anything. Ooh. Yeah, so this is the last page we did together we did this on 1024 and then we moved on to the next book but I tried to do my gray girl a green girl and like a tan kitty girl and I think pretty good can you tell between this picture and even my first in this book the progression maybe I hope so yes so that's that one and then finally my favorite because my favorite holiday is Christmas so uh, there might be less in here than in the Halloween one but I love them so much and I cannot wait to do more this year we're starting in November okay so before my Instagram picture was my purple mermaid it was this girl oh I love her so much I love nutcrackers a lot so I really wanted this girl to come out good. And again, my, I, you can kind of tell, I hope that I'm starting to do a little more shading. Like there's some shadow under her hairline and her neck is a little bit shaded. So I'm trying to get better here. And I just love her. This I pro was probably my first one in this book. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. But, and I started with Wink of Stella everywhere. Can you see it like all? He's still it up. I don't know, but I love it. Okay, here we go. Here's, I hope, my neon pencil's gone right. Maybe. Uh-oh, I shook the camera again. I'm sorry. I'm on one of those, like, monopods. That's just one little stick. So if I hit it, I apologize. But, yeah, here's... My little elf, and I decided to do her blue because Guys, I got cut off, so there's probably a weird jump in the filming. My alarm rang. I forgot I had it on, so whoopsie doodle, but uh, hopefully it flows pretty smooth. Yeah, this one, I'm having less opportunity to do fun colors in this book, or at least make myself do fun colors because I just want to make every girl be me and me be with Christmas uh, with Santa and me be on the sleigh and me doing everything. So I figured an elf, elf was pretty good to do some blue. And I think her neon looks pretty good in this one. And this is all Wink of Stella the gold. So I love it because it's sparkly, but sometimes it feels a little harsh. So I don't know. I also love just using the brush. I'm like, do, 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 I'm done. Oh. Yes, baking girl. Here she is. <laughs> I don't have too much to say. I'm also really obsessed with gingerbread people. Maybe not so much eating them, but making them and looking at them and coloring them and loving them. So I thought this was pretty good to be not super, super traditional. Because again, I was having trouble in this book being like, oh, every single page is the same. <laughs> okay, here we go. Another one of my favorites. See what I mean? Every page I do in Hannah's books, I'm like, oh, new favorite, oh, new favorite. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. So there's a ton of sparkle going on on Santa. I don't know if you're going to be able to see because I can't really tell the viewfinder. Noodles. Shh. I hope she doesn't do this. I think she has a tummy ache. And wants to be outside forever. Maybe I'll close the door on her for a minute. I'll be with you very soon. 
sorry about that. But yes, I can't tell in the viewfinder if you can see, but there is sparkle all over all the white parts of Santa. So I just love this. Oh, and his whole throne, chair, does Santa get a throne, is also sparkled. Gotta get through this, I got a grumpy puppy. Okay, this I consider a fail. <laughs> I tried to do the same basing in markers as I did on my other one. And I don't like how this came out. I just recently did this. My friend and I did this book for Christmas in July and we got our two pages done. By the end of this, I was just fed up and just like, meh, it's coloring real fast. I don't know. I was envisioning this to be a sand tree. And then, I, mm, mm, mm. I mean, I'm still learning, so I'm not too mad, but it's not what I wanted. Oh, here we go. I hope I didn't skip too many pages in the other book because I keep almost skipping them. Mrs. Claus. Oh, I love this one too. I just love it. There she is. Take her in. <laughs> this, again, all anything white is actually sparkle. So it's pretty subtle in the camera, but it's, it's so nice to flip through and see. Any snow is what I did. And sparkle, sparkle. Okay. I don't know what she is. I guess just an angel. But, yeah. At this point, I wasn't blending every single page or every single area. So I always blend the hair, always blend the skin. But I give up a little bit sometimes on the clothes. So... This is one of the first ones we did in here. I think I am talking way too much. This video is 20 minutes long. Another blue girl. I think I know how to do blue skin by now. Gotta pick some other colors. But here she is. I assume she's a fairy, right? Yeah. Yes, I was waiting to get to her. This is my sugar plum fairy and another one of my absolute favorites. I just love purple and green together um, and the plum colors. I glittered her, her plums so they're, they're sugared. Can you tell? And she's pink instead of peach. Hoo hoo, me going out of my comfort zone. My shopping girl. I'm really, I'm sorry, I have to speed through now. My puppy is really not gonna let me film. This one I just did. This was my second Christmas in July picture that I had gotten just under the wire, right before midnight on August 1st. And I think this came out really well. This was one of the intimidating ones that there's so much detail, but I just, <laughs> slow and steady, and I kind of at the end left some stuff white, but I still like it. Shh, don't tell. <clears throat> Another one of my favorites. Her hair's a little bit light, but this is one of the first ones we did in here. Yep, yeah, November 1st. So this might have been my first in this book. And is that the end? Oh, nope, 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 nope. I did the last one. <clears throat> Ta-da! Final one. This one I actually did. The first one I did this calendar year because I figured the 12 days of Christmas go on into January. So I did this picture on into January, but yes. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to do a few more of these um, like artist spotlights maybe, I'll call them, and show you all my completed pictures from each artist. And then hopefully by the end, we'll see my whole collection and I can start doing some color and chats or um, monthly pages, whatever you guys think. Let me know. Hope you liked it. Comment down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye.